It's your girl Ro in the building and I'm here to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my Valentine's Day special edition. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'll be doing pink candied apples. So let's get started. Here are some of the supplies that I will be using in this video and all links to some of the supplies will be listed in the description box below. In this video, I'm going to be using some red fondant and a little bit of chocolate and also some edible gold leaf. All will be listed in the description box below. A full recipe will also be listed as well as the flavor I'll be using. But this is a video that you need to pay attention to and watch out for the five clues. You will get clues out of three videos and you need to list all three videos on my Instagram story tagging me so that you may be a winner. You will receive a Valentine gift package of supplies and a $50 gift card from Amazon. So let's get started. So here I'm going to start off with my find it rolling it out and adding it to my mold so that I can mold out my pieces for my apples. Now this little tool that I'm using is just to scrape off the extra find it if you need to and you come out with your nice molded lips. Now here in a medium sized pot I'm adding four cups of granulated sugar, one cup of water, and one cup of light corn syrup. Here I'm adding in some extra ingredients, half cup of water, half cup of light corn syrup, and two cups of granulated sugar. Now I'm adding in extra to make sure I have enough mixture for my large apples. So here I'm putting in my candy thermometer, make sure it doesn't touch the bottom of the pot. And you want to cook this mixture to 300 degrees. And while that's cooking, we're going to darken this pink a little bit. So I'm using some chocolate, red chocolate chameleon to just darken up my pink chocolate. And we're making this up and then we're just going to set this to the side until our mixture is complete. But meanwhile, we're going to get started on these apples, prepping them. I'm using Granny Smith apples. You want to make sure you check your apples and clean them. These are already clean. For information on how I clean them, just click the link that's above this video. So here I'm using my 6.0 by 5.0 apple sticks. And you want to insert them upright. Make sure they don't pierce through the bottom of the apple. And make sure that you take some paper towel and clean around the top core of that apple so there is no juice sitting there and you're going to do the same thing after you apply the straw all right so you want to pierce it in and give it a little shake and then we're ready to go now as the mixture gets started, it's going to start to bubble up and I am cooking my mixture on medium high heat. So if you're cooking over your stove, cook it to medium high heat. And once it reaches its 300 degree mark, it slows up and this is how it looks. And now we're ready for dipping. Remove your thermometer and place it in a cup of water so that you can get that extra candy off the tip of your thermometer. So here I'm using some Tutti Frutti uh, flavoring and I added the full dram and I'm adding at the end as you see. So I'm also adding in my Chef Master's liquid gel white food coloring and I added the white first because I want this deep pink which I'm using to come out lighter and then create this mauve look, mauve type look it's just a nice deep pink to me all right so as i mix i'm looking at my mixture and it still looks 
a little transparent. So I am adding in a few more drops of the food coloring, but you want to be careful by adding food coloring because you don't want to add too much. Mixtures like this tend to be a little difficult because if it seems like it's not enough, then you add too much. So be careful. So here I'm dipping my apples and as you see, I tilted my pot so that the mixture can come to the corner of the pot and then you just do a rotating turn. Pull up the apple and shake it until you get all the extra mixture off and then I normally scrape the top of my pot and then place it onto a silicone mat. All right? So if you don't have a silicone mat, you can also use parchment paper or um, a silver pan, but you wanna make sure you have some parchment paper laid over into that pan because you don't want your apples to stick to the pan. So I recommend a silicone mat. So here I am cleaning out my pot. Now normally I do not get rid of this candy mixture. It's just the amount of apples that I used in this video. So as you see here, adding water to your pot for cleaning purposes, you're cleaning out your pot now, um, helps with breaking down the candy before you even heat it up. Because if you heat it up and it's completely solid, it will burn your pot. You wanna bring the water and candy mixture to a full boil to make sure all that candy has melted out and this is what you come out with. All right, so now I'm cleaning my pot and this is how I do it. Even if I have a little extra candy mixture, I use some Dawn soap and just scrub that off. It's not hard. And then you're gonna come out with a nice clean pot and you just pour it out and it's all clean. Now here are these lovely apples that I just dipped. Isn't this color nice? It's a pink, but it's a deep pink and I love it. Nice shine and honey, don't you see? Can't you see through those apples? <laughs> All right, so let's get started with the decoration. So here I'm adding my chocolate to the back and see it looks like a mauve color. So what I'm doing is taking my brush and applying just a dab of water across the apple and adding the edible leaf to it and taking a bigger brush and just tapping, doing a tapping motion to get this particular effect. All right, and now I'm gonna apply my chocolate lines to my apple. Now here's the thing about adding chocolate to your apple. You have to let it completely dry before you start applying any other embellishments to your apples, especially fondant, all right? So once again, I added a little bit of water to the apples, not too much, and then apply the gold edible leaf to the sticky part and then apply the chocolate. Now, as you see me applying this gold leaf, here I'm showing you that even if you add the leaf without water in some spots, the leaf is just going to fall off, as you see here. So make sure you add water to the areas that you want your leaf to lay on. Now here, my chocolate lines are completely dry, and now I'm able to apply my lips to my apple not gonna fall off and they're all ready and set to go so i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe congratulations you have made it through the video remember you need to list all clues from all three videos this is video one and the clues that you should be looking for is something either that has happened something that has changed or something that has been added in the clue clips that has been listed in each video. You need to make sure you are following me on my social media platforms and subscribe to this channel for your chance to win. Now, you need to tag me on my IG Insta story 
letting me know that you have got all the clues and then send me a DM on Instagram of all the clues that you found from all three videos. Me and my team will choose three contestants and one will become the grand prize winner. Do not, I repeat, do not send us clues after each video. You need to watch all three videos. We will use a system to select the winner and the winner will be posted on my IG story and announced in one of my YouTube videos. So remember to pay close attention to all three videos and I wish you luck and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I